In this presentation, you're about to discover the problem with status reporting and how to overcome it. So some of the status reporting challenges that you run into as a project manager include the following. The PMO template doesn't fit your project. It's highly administrative. The status keeps changing. Analyzing the schedule is a pain. The message isn't supported with measurable data. You spend way too much wordsmithing the perfect document. You spend more time doing arts and charts than actually managing the project. It takes too much time consolidating issues and risks. There's no reuse. You just repeat it week after week. And status is often way too subjective and often massaged to get the right message across. Maybe it was influenced through politics or making sure we want to communicate the right message versus the true project status. So let me show you how you can generate meaningful status in minutes. First, you start out with your project schedule. This is your Microsoft project schedule that you already have gone through and updated, identified progress as well as late tasks, and have made the proper updates. The next step is simply export your project schedule. So you use the My Metrics export map that I've included, and you save the Microsoft project data into Excel. And then using my all-in-one status report template, you can paste the Microsoft project data into Excel for analysis. And within seconds, you're able to review the metrics and graphs in the dashboards and metrics tabs. You can see here in the screenshot, I've instantly identified all my late tasks, all done by task groups, as well as I have different dashboards that indicate task progress, as well as overall, what's the summary of my issues, project risks, and so on. When you look at the red and yellow tasks, what I've done is I've categorized all the tasks in the project schedule across several task categories. So I can identify I'm 9% behind on project management related tasks, or I'm 33% behind on requirements, or training itself is at 0%, or even my conversion tasks uh, are also at 0%. So I'm on target there, but development, I'm 100% late based on the tasks that I've been identifying for overall schedule variance. So this allows you to start calculating objective metrics in seconds. You can also annotate your tasks. And what I've done is I've summarized all the late tasks into different groups. So here I can see all the project management tasks that are completed, the ones that are late as being expressed in red, as well as everything that's green are future tasks. And in these cases, I'm able to go ahead and I'll annotate the project status, calling out where I've got problems uh, across the red uh, statuses, because it's my job to help explain what do we need to do to actually resolve those project status issues. And I also have another dashboard that indicates overall task progress in terms of completed tasks, future tasks, and where we're late. And I've also started tracking all my project issues and project risks, as the all-in-one status report template has support for issues, risks, and changes in other project action items. So in this template, you have your, it also includes the issue log, the risk log, the change log, action items, and even budget graphs. So each of the tabs within my Excel status report template uh, includes different sections for you to track issues, risks, changes, actions, and so on. And is also supported by the appropriate graph and progress charts. The next step is just go ahead and prepare the status. And now this way you actually have objective metrics that you've identified. You're able to track the budget, you're able to actually use technical indicators to determine how many tasks were supposed to be completed, how many tasks were actually completed. It calculates a rough scheduled performance index, and also leaves plenty of room on the right-hand side for achievements, uh, a summary of the key issues, a summary of the key risks, any key decisions and change requests, and any next steps. And you'll also notice I have a milestone section, which includes the baseline and the forecast uh, to indicate if we're on target or we're behind specific milestones. Now all this is included in my tactical technique, how to effectively analyze and report project status. With the technique, you get the one page project status report template. You're able to export your Microsoft project schedule into the status report for instant metrics. The technical technique is comprised of 70 pages that helps you analyze and communicate status to your stakeholders. And I also included all the custom Microsoft project filters tables and views that are used to identify late tasks quickly, and all the different project dashboards as well as the issue, risk, action, and change log are included. So using this technique, 
you'll be able to report meaningful status in seconds, with the goal of being able to communicate status based on objective metrics and not just the subjective feeling of how the project manager thinks the project is progressing. You're able to consolidate issue, risk, and project log data all in one dashboard view. You can generate those project master metrics fast and quickly, all based on the data you get from your project logs as well as your Microsoft project status uh, and, your, and your Microsoft project schedule. Also allows you to use one simple one page status report and overall it's easy to use. So if you'd like to learn more, go ahead and click on the link below and download the all-in-one status report and the tactical technique.